We're back here, back at this door that I told you about. It's locked. Now it's unlocked. So welcome back to more Let's Play Alundra. We have some exciting things in this next room. Are you guys prepared? Are you guys excited? It's the boss of this area. This is Reptilicus Maximus. As horrible as that name is, that is his name. And in all honesty, alone he's not a very difficult boss. The problem comes where there are a bunch of reptiles coming around. As you can see, I finished off the two that were vomiting all over the place. Because those are the only ones that stay dead. I can't actually destroy these statues and uh... The rest of the reptiles are going to be hanging around with us for the rest of the fight. I could kill them, but they're just going to respawn, so it's really not worth it. Now, uh, Reptilicus Maximus alone really isn't that much trouble. He only has two attacks, jumping around and then doing that big jump, which will stun you if you're actually flat on the ground and not jumping in the air. It will stun the reptiles for a short period of time, but it's a much shorter period of time than it'll stun you. As I said, the main problem comes in avoiding all of the little reptiles that are hanging around. Your fully charged hit with the sword is really your best bet, although the uh, water magic actually does about the same amount of damage to him. But uh, really I just don't feel like switching to it and wasting magic. Now here you can see he's turned into stone and you really gotta hit him quick whenever he does that, because otherwise he'll heal himself and... Uh, yeah, obviously we don't want that. Overall, he is not a difficult boss. Already, he is dead. That's it for Retilla Reptilicus Maximus. Why did they name him that? Why? It's such a horrible name. Maybe it's just me, but no, I think it's actually pretty horrible. Oh well. Do the reptiles have the crest? They better have the crest. I better not have gone all this way and fought a billion of these stupid reptiles to not have a crest. Yeah, right. Ah, one of the seven guardians. Yeah, that's great. I, I really don't need to hear your life story, to be perfectly honest. I just do, I want a crest. Alright, great. And now we have this path unlocked. Here we have the fire scroll. It's fire magic! Always nice to get another little bit of magic. Fire magic can actually be pretty, pretty useful at times. Nice little spell with a lot of, uh, a lot of range to it. And now in this chest, get out of my way, other chest. Yay, it's the Sapphire Crest! That makes two now, we have two crests, so still a lot to go. We are not yet done here for a Let's Play Alundra. Let's not get in a hurry. So now we take this teleporter, and we could have headed to this area earlier, where there are a billion of these things. I'm just gonna run into one. But as I was saying, we could have gone here earlier, but uh, there would really have been no point. We couldn't have accessed the boss room, because the fence would have been blocking our way, and we couldn't have accessed the treasure chest, because there was also a fence there. But just saying, we could have. If we wanted to, we could have gone there, but we didn't. So now we ha need to head back to Inoa Village. We've gotten our crest. 
Time to move on. We need to go to new locations. And we should probably just check up on how people are doing in general. Hi, Jess! How's it going? I don't know, Giles? Or, or maybe his name is pronounced Giles, but you know what? I'm pronouncing it Giles. He's Guile, I'm Vega, Jess is Chun-Li, whatever. Yeah, so apparently Giles is now having a nightmare. I know what you're saying, Jess. I know what he's saying. Do you know what he's saying, viewer? I know. Okay, probably should head to Guile's house. Maya! But yeah, but maybe I can also save them like I did all the other people, or some of them at least. I saved Bonaire. Shut up, Maya. Yeah, so I've heard. Hi, Septimus. That's because she sucks. How depressing. Yeah, he was kind of a jerk to me. I, I kind of am not, not going to lose any sleep over Giles dying, honestly. But yeah, I'll try to save him. Why the hell not? Yeah, yeah, I'll die too. Let's go! So, here we are in another dream. There's a block here that is in our way. We need to move that block. We need to get that block out of our way. By heading in here. And now we're trapped. So this room basically acts as a gondola. Got a lot of enemies hanging around. Got a spike ball in the middle of all of them. And for the next round, we have these, a new enemy type, and one of the most annoying enemies in the game. You hit them, and when you kill them, they explode into these little tiny bombs. When you hit them, they usually shoot off one bomb, and um, it's often in your direction, and that's it's really just annoying to fight these guys. They tend to take a lot of hits, so you can see I'm using my uh, charge shot on my sword against them very often to do as much damage as I can. I really just don't like these enemies, they're just a hassle to fight. There. That's all of them. Up next we have the shadows. Ones that appear, appear, you know, just kind of at their leisure. I can never really figure out what exactly causes them to spawn. It seems to me that they just kind of do it at random. We only got one more here. Come on, spawn already. See, things like this happen that make me not understand why they spawn. They just kind of float around sometimes, and it's odd. And hey, now we have a treasure chest. What is in the chest? There is a monster. There is a monster in the chest. And that is all now. Step on the switch, and now our path has been unlocked. And also, as we head down here... The block is now gone, and we can head down here safely. Now, this area, bunch of arrows. These are the type of arrows that you can't jump on. Once you step on them, they're going to be sending you in that direction. But there's a switch over there, and we need to kill the blob, and it drops a pot. There we go. Simple as that. Also going to destroy this pot, just because I can. It didn't contain anything, and so that kind of makes me sad. Now we have this area where we can push blocks around. Need to push them in uh, kind of the right direction. It really doesn't matter that much, but yeah, I'm going to be pushing them around anyway. Want to go right around here. Now then, we're in this place, which there's a, uh, a teleporter that we can get teleported to, but not from. 
if that made any sense at all, which I, I don't really think it did. Anyways, here is a room where we restore our, our magic and our HP. And we can also save. So, next time on Let's Play Alundra, more of Guile's Nightmare. I'm Vega, and I'll see you then. Kinda hoping he dies. Gonna be honest with you, kinda hoping Giles dies.